Everybody loves to hear the word free. And today on At Your Leisure, we're taking it to the next level as we preview Take a Friend Snowmobiling, an event that gets you on a sled in the wilds of the West for free. Join me, Stephen Human, as I take you on a tour of this event and show why you and your family are going to want to come out this coming weekend for Take a Friend Snowmobiling. From there, Chad and Rhea continue their RV road trip, this time showing off a side of the Colorado River that will knock your socks off with adventure. Own the outdoors right now on At Your Leisure. It's time to get out in the snow, everybody, and we have the perfect event for you and your family. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Stephen Human. I'm Becky Human. And I'm Chad Fisher. And today we are celebrating Take a Friend Snowmobiling. This is an event coming up this next Saturday, January 24th, right here at Monte Cristo Trailhead, just east of Ogden on Highway 39. This is a great event where you can come out and snowmobile for free. We're going to have chili. It's going to be really a fun event. We're going to kind of showcase it today and show you what you can expect from Take a Friend Snowmobiling. Now, Becky, you've you snowmobiled a few times, right? A little bit, yeah. She, she's got some Nothing experience. Crazy. Chad, you've snowmobiled a few times. Just a couple. <laughs> Just a couple. Yeah, yeah. Would you be comfortable training her a little bit and getting her a little bit more comfortable like on, on some of these? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Chad will keep her safe. While they're going over a little bit of training and showing you some of the things that you can learn at Take a Friend Snowmobiling, why don't we find out a little bit more about the event? Take a Friend Snowmobiling is a really fun event because you can come up here to Monte Cristo and you can see how beautiful it is here. And you can, if you've never snowmobiled before, this is your chance to try it. I like that it's a great opportunity to learn to go snowmobiling if you've ever, never gone before and it's a, a good taste of it. You come out, go for a ride. We have a lot of the local dealers that show up and bring some of the new stuff as well. So if you want to try that new uh, you know, Polaris or new Skidoo, they're here for you to give that a whirl. And you know, there's just, it's just a great place to come and be able to do something for free to come up and check something out for the very first time. So it's pretty easy, really. There's not much to it. Um, you have your kill switch here that when you're running, you want to have it up. Okay. If you want to shut it off, all you do is hit that. Basically to start it, you just have your pull rope here. You'll pull it, it'll fire up. Bring bobby pins, ladies. Yeah. I did it! Got it. <laughs> Every time that I've experienced snowmobiling, I've gone with my family. There's always going to be a memory. There's always going to be something you're going to remember about it, and you're going to treasure that memory. Well, we've been able to find out some great things about Take a Friend snowmobiling, and we're going to talk more about it as the show progresses. But right now, we've got to go to our travel adventure. Chad and Rhea are on their voyage across America by RV, and they have a new stop to show you. So how about we follow them? Thanks, guys. Well, we're continuing our RV journey, and we've reached our first goal. We are now sitting on the shores of the Colorado River. This is the main water artery through the southwest of the United States, and there's no part that as a river goes, really is any prettier than this area around Needles, California. We're in Pirate's Cove RV Resort, right outside of Needles, and it's really, really beautiful. It's one of the most unique campgrounds and beach resort facilities, marinas, cabins, lodge, restaurant things I've ever seen. No matter where you go, you can take a group of friends, reserve one of these little clusters, and you feel like you've got the river to yourself. Chad, you barely scratched the tip of the iceberg on this. Let's stop talking and go explore. This is Amanda Hanlon, yes. and she's the marketing manager for the Pirates Cove. That's RR, great. do you have to speak pirate, pirate to work here? Sometimes. <laughs> they quiz you. Let's talk about the fact that everything in this whole place is coordinated. I mean, it looks like it was designed by Jack Sparrow himself. <laughs> He's come to visit a few times. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, our, our owners, they just, they fell in love with the Caribbean lifestyle and wanted to bring this little oasis to the middle of the desert. Chad, one of the many things I like about this campground 
is the general store. It has like absolutely everything. And then that little restaurant is so sweet, the one right on the water, I love it. That was really good food. I think I had one of everything. We are very geared towards the family uh, oriented area. A lot of families come in with their RVs, come in and camp, and we just really wanted to target more of that old way that kids used to camp and kind of take them out of the city life, you know, throw the phones away for a day and just enjoy nature. Chad, what do you think about those ATV trails around there? I was really surprised to find out that they, that the BLM has just expanded an entire trail system right around that area. You can drive straight from your RV site off to over 3,200 miles of off-road trails. We have boat rentals, water jet skis, we have off-road rentals, so if you don't have an off-road vehicle but you would like to go, we can have that uh, accommodated for you. Stop number two on our Colorado River excursion. This is the Crazy Horse Campground. If you come here, make sure that you ask for one of the beachfront spots because you literally can sit in your motorhome and look out over the beautiful Lake Havasu. And you can hear the ray waves crashing in. It's so peaceful. Make sure that you take time to stop at the visitor center over by London Bridge. Yes, the real London Bridge is here, but it's the most incredible story. People have a hard time understanding that that bridge was actually dismantled brick by brick, block by block in London and shipped over to Lake Havasu and put in place before there's actually even an island there. And then they put it in that sweet little English village where you can shop around and they have that museum there with the gentleman, I believe his last name is McCulloch, who actually brought that bridge over and everybody thought he was out of his mind. Yeah, They're I'd... like, he's not, this isn't going to happen. If you put in your GPS coordinates to get you to Yuma, Arizona from Lake Havasu City, it's probably going to put you back on I-40 and take you around by freeway. But you don't want to do that. Because that's three hours of nothing when you can have five hours of spectacular. That's right. And that's what the journey by motorhome is all about. So my advice is keep your GPS with you because if you, you follow either 93 or 95, depending on which side of the river you're on, you can get most of the way down to the Mexican border just hugging right along the river shore. And quite honestly, Rhea, don't you think we could have taken an entire week just to go from Lake Havasu down to Yuma? Definitely. I mean, because every town there was like a little shop you wanted to stop and shop in. There was a restaurant. You say, boy, that would have been a fun place for breakfast and you can take the time to stop if you give yourself the time. I mean, people really are missing the boat, I should say missing the RV, if they don't get an RV and go and go this direction, because honestly, it is so friendly and so safe, and it's beautiful. Well, we have made it, the first leg of our exploration journey in the RV. We are in Yuma, Arizona, so we have followed the Colorado River all the way from Laughlin down to here, and man, it's been quite a trip. Yeah, we're like only 15 miles from Mexico. Behind us, is an area they are restoring on the Colorado River. This area was logged out at one point by the steamboats and now they're trying to rehabilitate it. And they're doing a fantastic job. It's gorgeous. It really is. And if you come out this way, you really got to take some extra time just to get the feel of these beautiful little towns. We know that there are more things that we've seen on this junket down here than you've had a chance to see in the story. So. Rhea and I have opened up our driver's log and we are putting in some of the little things and the little extra special points of interest so that if you plan an itinerary you can say let's put that on our list. That's right you can catch that on our Facebook or on our website. Well that's it for our story right now and it's time for us to move on to the desert so next time we see you we'll be exploring some desert fun. I can't figure out this equation. You'll figure it out. Ooh, ooh, stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'm from Triple S Polaris. Guys, you've controlled for all the good variables. You know, income sources, market volatility, and the freedom scale. Perfect. But you missed the most important variable of all. Service to the power of three. I'm from Triple S Polaris, and we take service that seriously. Now, where is my Nobel Prize? If you want service that really goes above and beyond, 
You want Triple S Polaris. Service to the power of three. It's time to try something new. January 24th at Monte Cristo Trailhead just east of Ogden. Join At Your Leisure, the Utah Snowmobile Association, and Utah State Parks for the 6th Annual Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day. This is a free event for anyone looking to try snowmobiling and find out why this winter sport has captured the imagination of families from around the world. Enjoy a chili lunch and hot cocoa all free, plus rides for the kids as well. Dress warm and join At Your Leisure January 24th for Take a Friend Snowmobiling. Get more info at AYLTV.com. When you made it through your busy week, it's time to rest and unwind. There's one thing that we can all agree, a getaway works every time. You're headed to the country, enjoy the comforts of your city living at Ray City RV. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are here celebrating Take a Friend Snowmobiling, which is just coming up this next weekend. Thank you very much, Sam. Hit me with the snow. <laughs> Part of what's going on that's a little bit different this year with Take a Friend Snowmobiling? Right? Well, we're doing our chili cook-off, which is really cool because we want to invite all of you Dutch oven cookers to come out and show us your best chili. And then we let the snowmobilers decide what's the best. All right, well, so in order to help you with that, just in case you don't have a recipe, I have a recipe today. Darren has cooked chili for me in the past. Yep. And I have decided to, to cook it today. He's going to take it up a notch. Exactly. So this is a very simple recipe, but I made a few little tweaks. You know? Tweaks? Right, let's go. You're tweaking it? I like tweaking it. Tweaking like it. it. We're, gonna, we're actually going to have some potatoes in it a little bit because it kind of soaks up the flavor and it adds a little bit different texture with the salt. Oh. It's good. It's good. So. What I got here, basically this recipe is very simple. You want to grab this stuff, Darren. Kids, you want yep. to pop this on? Max and Elise. They're going to be our sous chefs today. We have basically a pound and a half of ground beef, which I actually went for ground steak because I wanted to go a little bit different. So a pound of sausage. And you can put more sausage if you like. I like the flavor of the sausage in the chili. It adds just a, a nice touch to it. We're going to put in two cans of Western style beans. We're gonna put in some chili beans. We'll put in some, and we're gonna put in a can of kidney beans and a can of black beans. Now you can do white beans. You can you can play with this however you want to. Yeah, we use kidney beans. We like kidney that. Beans. Kidney beans and black beans. So, see, that's that's what I am. But Becky mm -hmm. likes. My wife likes the white beans. I prefer the black beans. And a can of diced tomatoes. Now with the diced tomatoes, don't put them on. Don't put them on. Oh, don't put them on. Don't put them on. I don't like to have a ton of tomatoes in my in my chili. I was messing up your sauce. You were messing up my sauce. So then, and then one can, one small can of tomato sauce as well. I'm gonna put the potatoes in with these so that they can cook. These are pre-cooked potatoes, so they're ready to go. They just need to be heated up. Now, my wife likes to use chopped up chuck steak. Yeah. So you got little chunks of steak in it, which I really like. I love the steak too. Or you can go with, you know, if you, if you got deer meat or... Never tried fish and chili. You ever tried fish and chili? I haven't tried fish. Now, a little secret. I pre-chopped all of these. You ah. can chop them out here, but if it's a really cold day, do you really want to? No, it's a lot easier to have it all ready to go. Exactly. So basically I've got half an onion and one green pepper. Chopped them up last night, put them in the bags, makes it super easy. One of the fun things about doing it this way of having your kids help, because oftentimes at home, you know, things are up really high and you can't do it, but with these Camp Chef stoves, it's perfect for them. You know what I also love about this stove? What's that? Well, because I was stressing out because I didn't have a table. And I was like, I don't want a big table, but you've got these wings that come out. Yeah. So I could use those for everything. The big gas grill, you can't beat it. I'm going to have to turn it over to my wife now because my youngest wants me to do it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I wish we had smell a vision. Shh, don't tell Steve I'm adding some more tomatoes. More salt, more chili powder. More chili powder, always more chili powder, right, Elise? No. So there you go. It's a very simple recipe. We'll have it on our website, and they can make this if they want for the, the chili. Company. Sure, anything they want to make. You you make the chili that you think's gonna win the event. <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta take a commercial break. Later in the show, we'll try this chili, and we'll tell you whether it turned out with the little experiments that I did or not. So we're gonna go to commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have more about Take a Friend Snowmobiling and Corey Tuna is taking us to an event that has absolutely enormous tires. Big tires.
to escape the cold weather and find someplace warm? This week's featured Utah State Park is Sand Hollow in Hurricane. With its warm blue waters and red sandstone landscape, Utah's newest state park is also one of its most popular. Boat and fish on Sand Hollow Reservoir. Explore and ride the dunes of Sand Mountain on an off-highway vehicle, then RV or tent camp in the new campground. A favorite destination for local off-highway vehicle enthusiasts, Sand Mountain provides 15,000 acres of perfectly sculptured dunes. Entrance fee is $10 per car, walk-ins only $4. Access Sand Hollow by taking exit 16 in Hurricane, then turning south on Sand Hollow Road. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit cedarcityayl.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic southern Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're out here at Monte Cristo Trailhead, and we are looking forward to next week's big event, Take a Friend Snowmobiling, here with Chad Fisher from Triple F Flares. Chad, thanks for taking us out today, man. No problem. Anytime. We now, you guys, you guys are going to be out here next weekend, right? We are. Yep. We'll have our demo sleds here. Uh, we'll have some of our rental sleds that people can come out, and we can take them out and show them what snowmobiling is all about. All right, Chad, now, since this event is for people who have never been snowmobiling before, what kind of gear should they bring in order to stay comfortable on the sleds? You know, you want to be, you want to definitely dress warm. Um, you want to have good base layer and then good outerwear. Um, the other thing, protection as far as you want to have a good helmet. Um, gloves, of course. Basically, you want to keep all your skin from being exposed to the cold. So what is your favorite part about snowmobiling? Why is this sport so great? This right here. You know, look around and see the openness, the freedom to be able to come out. Just work your way through a spot and enjoy it. You know, get away from everything down in the valley. To see the country we have in Utah and to be able to just explore it and try new things. And, and it's, I mean, it's to get away from work, whatever, for the day. You know, it's, it's an awesome experience. Boondocking's a lot different than just running down the trail or, you know, playing out in a meadow like that. It's, you know, it can, it can get pretty technical, whether you're on really steep hills. You do have those little things called trees that kind of get in your way, you know, and, and it's, it's fun to work your way, uh, set up an obstacle course, work your way through it. And it's always fun to come out and pick a line and, you know, you usually, hopefully you make it and then try another one. So how did my wife do after you gave her that training? Was she, was, she, she didn't awesome. crash anything? Nope, not yet. <laughs> we'll try again some more and see what happens. <laughs> well, we got to go off to our trailhead adventure. First, we got to thank RockyMountainATVMC.com for sponsoring our trailhead series. They're a great place. You can get all the parts for your ATVs, dirt bikes, street bikes, everything there. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Well, here's our trailhead. Corey Toon is at one event that has enormous tires and even bigger spectacle. I'm Corey Toon and I'm at the All-Star Monster Truck Show and I'm in the Monster Truck or two so we're gonna see all sorts of fun and mayhem here. I'm gonna give you the bird's eye view so ready ladies and gentlemen let's start your engines. This is the All-Star Monster Truck Tour. We do 50 events nationwide all over the country. We do monster trucks, tough trucks, freestyle motocross, fire throw shows, all sorts of great things going to every single one of our All-Star Monster Truck Tour events. Now some of you may have never been at a monster truck event, but the energy in this place is it's, it's palpable. When you have cars that have so much horsepower, there's just adrenaline flowing all over, and these tires are just as big as us, six feet tall, and these things are jumping just like they're little toy trucks. My whole life, I've always wanted to ride in a monster truck. And you can see that I actually got a ride with Ron Duncan in the Maverick truck. When he started this up, seriously, I thought my heart would never quit pounding. What would you tell young kids nowadays that maybe this is their passion? Where do they start? You know, there's so much to it. The first thing and the most important thing is stay in school, get that education, you know, have something to fall back in case your dreams can and do go sideways. Other than that, keep dreaming and always dream big. 
One thing you'll notice today is the diversity of the drivers. These people are the most down-to-earth, everyday people, but they've had the opportunity to literally travel the world doing these monster truck shows. Okay, I'm here with Travis and Tyler, and you guys are the epitome. You define sibling rivalry. When you beat him or he wins, do you really feel sorry for each other? Not really. We get to, you know, make fun of each other the whole week to the next show. Hey, I won, but there's always next weekend the other one gets a win. Hopefully we get to go against each other this weekend. We love it. The fans love it. They really get into it when they hear twin brothers are racing each other. Who has the most horsepower under the hood? He's got the big motor, but he always rolls over, so it doesn't matter anyway. But I do all the body work, so I can roll over as many times as I want. They're the only husband-wife team in the nation that compete, and they actually ride together. You're in the back, you're in the front. How do I get in this truck? There's no doors. Uh, you kind of make it just like a big old jungle gym. You can see where we, we step up by all the dirt marks, and you just kind of slide yourself in between the body and, and the truck, and, and there you go. People out there are going to say, how did he get started in monster trucking? I want to hear your story. I actually answered a Craigslist ad. Uh, local crew looking for uh, team members, and. That's what it was. These guys are about a half hour from my house, and I got into it. I love it. You know, it's something I've always had a passion for. Every monster truck ought to have one of these. Now it's complete. The final event was my favorite. It was the freestyle event, and there were no holds barred here. As you can see, they were having a lot of fun. How many times do you get four events in one place? We have monster trucks, we have pro stadium trucks racing, we have demolition derbies, and we have the craziest guy around, the kamikaze kid who lights himself on fire. Who does that? Okay, we have the kamikaze kid here. That is absolutely incredible. Did you just wake up one day and say, I'm gonna be lit on fire, I'm gonna light myself. Why do you do this? Um, why not, man? You only live one time in your life. I like creating lifetime memories for Families, you know, I used to be the kid out here watching this stuff. Incredible. Now talk about total surprise. When I was invited to do a ride along in one of the pro stadium trucks, I had the time of my life. And you might think that being a short course inside here wouldn't be that much fun, but it was very thrilling. And it's very hard to make such a tight turn going so fast. Okay, I'm ready to go out on the track. And Brady, tell me what I'm in for. I tell you what, you are about in for the ride of your life. There is nothing like this kind of racing. It is full throttle all the time, non-stop. You're in good hands, but I ain't promising we ain't gonna roll it over. I am a little bit scared, but it's gonna be a blast. How would someone build up to racing and be a professional race truck driver like you? Well, it starts a lot like the regional races we put on out at Miller, the tough truck competitions. You start with, first of all, the desire to do it. Find a truck, you start with something stock, and you keep going until you keep breaking parts, you keep fixing, you keep growing into uh, the professional race series. You can find our entire schedule on our website at allstarmonster.com or like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash allstarmonster. Now you might ask me why would someone want to go to a show like this if you're not really into just jumping trucks, but what I learned today is dreams can come true and I saw little kids to older gentlemen, older people, just having fun and smiling, and it was just pure entertainment. Well, my heart's still pumping. What an amazing day here. If you guys want to follow the Monster Truck website, you can find all the upcoming events. So until then, I'm Corey Toon. Now back to the At Your Leisure crew. You climb, we invent, you carve, we refine, you side hill steeper mountains, we develop more responsive technology, you never stop, we never stop, the 2015 ski -Doo Summit.
gunpowder day in the trees. A morning of crisp air and blue skies. A winter destination in your own backyard. Twilla County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're celebrating Take a Friend Snowmobiling, which is just coming up this coming weekend. And the kids, we decided to go into this meadow so that we could have a snowball fight. And as you can see, we sunk down pretty deep. They're okay. They've made it much further than us, so I have a feeling we're going to lose this particular I think battle. so. I think so. Yeah. Um, well, we do have some upcoming events to talk about. Of course, Take a Friend Snowmobiling, January 24th. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. come out. We've been talking about it all day. You are going to love it. That same weekend, this coming weekend, is the Winter 4x4 Jamboree in St. George. So if you like jeeping, which I absolutely love, then head out and go do some, some jeeping for the weekend. That's right, and Chad and Rhea are actually gonna be down there for that, so you can say hi, hit the trails with them, and just have a great day. We also have the boat show and the RV show coming up in just a month. The boat show is the first week in February. You can find out more at utahboatshow.com or at our website, ayltv.com. And the next weekend is the RV show over Valentine's Day, and Chad and Rhea have been showing you how much fun RVing can be as a couple, and that'll be a perfect Valentine's Day date for you. Go buy your husband an RV, lady. Ooh, <laughs> you gonna do that? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, we need to take a look at next week's show. What's the skiing like in scenic southern Utah? Well, next week, Steve and Alicia are headed to the slopes to find out. Then come with Chad and me as we continue our cross-country RV trip and stop in the California desert and find an amazing oasis of activities. We'll have all the details and a complete itinerary for your family. Whew, that was a fun ride. Awesome. You guys had a good time? Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! All right. Well, come in, grab a bowl here, Max. Let's get you some chili. Oh, you have here. to tell me if it, if it turned out. You have to ball. tell me if this is going to win, if this is going to beat out everybody else next week. Put you for sure will here, Chad. Let me get that. Right, Ooh, that looks good. Take a friend snowmobiling is just next Saturday up here at Monte Cristo. It's gonna be a great time. Hopefully, it's as beautiful as it is today. Here and there you go. Ooh, that looks good. All right, well, we hope to see you out here next weekend for Take a Friend Snowmobiling. It's time for us to say goodbye. Remember, there's tons of adventure to be found in the West, but you're never gonna find it sitting on the couch. We'll see you next week. Now it's my turn. I want some of this. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix a family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.